but Jesus needed to go through Samaria. And so he went to the Samaritan town called Sikar and he sat down by a piece of land that Jacob had given his son Joseph and he sat down by a well and there came a woman to draw water from the well. Jesus looked at her and said, woman, can you give me some water to drink? And she said, sir, you're a Jew and I'm a Samaritan. How is it that you ask me for water? This she said because the Jews and the Samaritans, they didn't quite share their things and the disciples had gone out to buy food. So Jesus looked at her and said, if you knew who it was that was talking to you, you would ask him for the living water. And the woman said, sir, the well is deep and you have no bucket. How are you even going to give me this living water? Are you greater than our forefather Jacob? To which Jesus replied, anyone who drinks of this water, this water is going to thirst again. But anyone that drinks of the water that I am going to give will never thirst again. For out of his stomach shall come forth living water gushing up towards eternity. The woman said to Jesus, Sir, give me this water so I can drink of it and never thirst again. And Jesus said to her, Woman, go and bring me your husband. To which the woman said, Sir, I have no husbands. Jesus said, That is correct. You have had five husbands, but the one that is with you right now is not your husband. To which the woman said, your ancestors tell us to worship on Mount Jerusalem. My ancestors tell me to worship on this mountain. What is it that one must do? Jesus said to her, woman, woman, the hour is coming where we will neither worship on this mountain nor shall we worship on that mountain. The Father seeketh such that worship him in spirit and in truth. For God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And the woman said to him, I know that there is a Messiah called the Christ who is coming and he will proclaim all things to you. And he said, I am he that you are speaking to. By then, the disciples came back and they were urging him to eat his food and they saw him with the woman at the well but they didn't ask him who it was or what she wanted. They kept urging him to eat his food. And Jesus turned and said to them, I have food that you do not know of. And the disciples said to one another, is it probably because someone else brought him the food? And Jesus said, my food is to do the will of him that sent me and to complete his work. You say there are four months to the harvest, but look around you, lift up your eyes. The fields are full of the harvest. And the time is coming where the reaper is reaping the fruit into his basket and reaping eternal wages. So that the story might come true, that one sows and another reaps, but you are reaping that which you have not labored for. Someone has labored and you have entered into that labor. When the woman went back to her town, many of the Samaritans heard her testimony. Her testimony which said, come and see, there is a man that has told me everything that I have done. When the Samaritans came to Jesus, they begged him to stay with them for a few days and Jesus, oh, and Jesus abided with the Samaritans for two whole days. <laughs>